What's up everybody, Kill423 here from EpicCouncil.com uh, Today I'm going to bring you a Nandex or JR Programmer Slim Trinity uh, Direct Wire Install for reading and writing your NAND. Um, I've had lots of people asking about this. I, I typically use QSBs in my install tutorials um, and a lot of people have asked about direct wiring so uh, I'm going to show you direct wiring. Um, what you're going to want is a set of direct wiring, JR Programmer, or Nandex cables. Uh, if you have to, you'll have to uh, um, take your QSB cables. If you're going to be cheap and not use the QSBs, then take your QSB cable and cut the ends off of them. Uh, it should have ends that kind of look like this. Um, this is not a Nandex or JR Programmer cable by the way but you got these little plugs on them just cut them off if you aren't using your QSBs ever um, and then you're gonna have just bare wires strip it back uh, me I've got little legs attached from capacitors under my my wires uh, not all of them some of them they fell off and I've been too lazy to put new ones on but they kinda help you form the wire and keep them away from each other and off the motherboard and whatnot so but on with the tutorial, uh, we're going to be working right in this area. You can see I've already got a mod chip installed. But we're going to be working right in this area. Uh, primarily with the J2C1, that, that holds five of the wires. And then J2C3 holds two. So, uh, right above your memory card or your south bridge. And zoom in. I've already pre-prepped the pads. Uh, because I've worked with this council before. But you're going to want to go ahead and put a little bit of flex paste on each one of these solder pads. And then pre prep them, meaning get a little solder in the holes. Just take your iron and, and touch the pad and melt a little bit of solder in there. Give your wire something to attach to. We're going to be doing one, two, well, it's actually one, two, three, four, five, five, and six. So pads one, two, three, four, and six. Um, and then over here, we're going to be going to pads five and six. So we're going to start off with our brown wire. Actually, we'll go ahead and start with our black wire. Our black wire is going to come right here to pad one. And then next, we've got our brown. We'll go right across from it to pad two. Next we got our red wire, which will go right under the black wire. Uh, it's probably over the black wire for you guys. I'm looking at this upside down. Well, you guys are looking at it upside down. And then we got our orange wire. which goes straight across from the red, under the brown, to pad four. Oof, you can tell I'm getting hungry. I'm starting to get shaky. About din din time. Next we got our yellow, and that goes to the pad six, which is the final wire on this header. Pad six is always the most difficult. It's actually the ground pad, so you could really go someplace else if you wanted. 
Okay, and then we're gonna move over to the J2C3. So this is where I like my my legs because I can just bend the wire and get it up out the way. And then we got green comes to the third one down from the top. That's pad five, and blue goes straight across from it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set blue in place first. It's entirely too much solder in that, just so you know. We're going to come in and set green. Now when you're all done reading and writing your NAND, you just go ahead and go through and remove all them wires. And this concludes the NANDX, or JR Programmer, direct wiring install for reading and writing the NAND. Again, this has been Kill423 from EpicCouncil.com. Thanks for watching.